my 1,000 subscriber video. What? So thanks for all the subscriptions and all that jazz. And I promise a bikini video. Here's the video and here's the bikini. What? You don't expect me to. Oh, alright. Hide your children because this video now contains nudity. Now that I have your attention, I was asked to name my top 5 video games on PC and movies. I just like bring slushies. So most of my favorite games are about zombies. Number 5 is Bioshock. Number 4 is Fear 1. It, it had a great story. Fear 2 kind of uh, messed up the ending. I don't want to see some pregnant ass chick. Hey, I'm not that old. Number 3, Heroes of New Earth. Just because I hate Dada. Number two is actually two games, Quake 3 Live and Unreal Tournament. And number one, oh yes, it's Lineage 2 because I'm pretty much a MMORPG nerd. My top five movies, number five is American Psycho. Just because it's messed up and it describes the people that got us into this whole crisis the best. Number four would be another Christian Bell movie, Equilibrium. Number three, Martyrs, and it has a great plot. Number two is Scarface, just because I have to put a mob movie in my top five. Number one, my favorite movie, is definitely Terminator. Yes, I'm a sucker for Arnold. Oh, also Predator, just because it's with him too. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Since I can't sing, I actually consider singing a super ass power. So, I guess being able to sing. Just so I could annoy my neighbors even more. And now that I have your attention, I'm gonna start helping people. First question comes from Chad, and he said, So basically I have no friends, and spend my days killing internet dragons and visiting forums. What do? Kill dragons in real life. Become a bug exterminator if you can't find nerdy girls to meet up with. Or just guys in general. I kid, I kid. Spend your time on forums trying to find people you can meet up with, not people from the opposite side of the world. Second question comes from Chris. The girls seem to call me a player. I tell them I'm not and they think it's some whole bullshit scheme to win them over. What should I do? Just wait until a girl actually tries to get to know you rather than label you. All these girls are just labeling you without even getting to know you. And you don't need superficial ass girls. Moving on to another player. Hey, I'm Eric. I'm 16 and I have trouble talking to some girls or getting conversations going. I'm also asking for their numbers or way to contact them. Hope you can give me some advice. You're 16, you're in high school. You have tons of opportunities to meet girls. You should take chances. Don't be scared about uh, starting a conversation. Just work your skills if you're funny. Create a whole humorous atmosphere. Girls like boasting, but not excessively. Just, you know, getting an alpha male vibe going on. Always keep open end sentences and questions. Watch her body language. Watch how she responds to you. Next question comes from Ziggy. I like this one girl so I started talking to her a lot, now I think we're too good of friends to go out, what should I do? You can think whatever you want to think, but you won't be sure unless you take the chance. Tell her uh, how you feel about her, that you like her more than just a friend, go out with her. If she's interested, she'll keep it going. If not, you'll just have a really good friend, and she'll appreciate your honesty. If you didn't get in the video, keep messaging. Spam me. And that's it for today.